All right, welcome, my third grade students. Today is Wacky Dress Day. So you can see here, I'm all dolled in. I got sandals, some crazy boots, and a hat. And I'm here ready to do a little bit of science lesson here. Let me just wipe the sweat off my face. Life in the Grasslands is the test that we have coming up. So, let's review it real quick. Once again, you want to be focusing on the red words because that is what the test is going to be focusing on. First thing to know is that the grassland is a biome. And like we talked about in class, a biome is a large area that all has similar features, whether that be animals, climate and weather, uh, what it looks like, and that sort of thing. So the grassland is a biome because it's a large area that has similar features. There's not a lot of trees. All of the animals are of the same kind. And that sort of thing. And obviously, it's vast areas of grass. So, once again, grassland is a biome. And a biome is a large area that has similar features. Um, let's see here. One thing that was really common in the textbook was knowing what happens during a fire in a grassland and actually how fires help the grasslands because the fire burns the top okay so it takes off all of the top layer of the grass but underneath the soil where the roots are it doesn't get burned so once the fire goes away the roots are still there and then the roots will then produce another new stalk and it will actually create more grasslands again. So fires are kind of a good thing because it kills off the top layer that may or may not have been growing very well. And now the roots underneath will have an opportunity to blossom brand new plants and grasses. Okay. Uh, another thing about the roots that was really important in this lesson was that roots act like a sponge soaking up the water. There isn't a whole lot of rain that happens in the grasslands, so it's really important for those roots to dig down deep and also that they soak up as much water as they can. So that is an adaptation that the plants and the trees in the grasslands have. Another thing that we talked about, a similar feature that grasslands have, is the climate, okay? We talked about the difference between climate and weather. Climate is what the usual temperature and wind conditions and cloud conditions and how much rain comes over a long period of time. What's it usually like in an area? Whereas in weather is what it's like on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? So sometimes in Murrieta, the weather is rainy. Sometimes the weather is sunny, okay? So on any given day, it can kind of change. But generally speaking, over the long term, what's it usually like? It is sunny and nice weather and clear skies. So the climate in Murrieta is warm and sunny and dry, all right? So the climate in the grasslands, in the tropical grasslands, there's one season, and it's usually warm and dry all year long. The other kind of grasslands is the temperate grasslands, and in the temperate grasslands, there are four seasons, okay? That means it changes. It is sometimes sunny, Okay? Sometimes the leaves are uh, dying, and so uh, the leaves are falling. That would be like the fall we have. Then you would have a winter. You can notice the icicles and the snow. And then there's the springtime in which new plants and trees are blossoming. The weather is great for growing. 
whereas in during the fall here with the brown leaves, the plants don't thrive as much. Okay, so grasslands have a temperate climate, but there are also grasslands that are tropical that only have one season. And whether a grassland has temperate or whether a grassland is tropical has a large part to do with where the grasslands are on the earth. The tropical grasslands are grasslands that are found more along the equator, whereas in the temperate grasslands are found further away from the equator. All right, so we talked about what a biome is. We talked about the importance of roots during a fire and if there's not a lot of rain. We talked about how grasslands can be temperate and tropical depending on where the grasslands are in the world. We talked about the difference between climate and weather. The last thing here is, is that some animals have adaptations in the grasslands. The zebra, for example, has these flat teeth that allows it to be able to bite the grass and then chew it. Because if the zebra had these sharp teeth, it would just be like slicing through the grasslands and it wouldn't be able to grab it and pull it up. Because if the teeth were too sharp, it would just be scraping through it. So the zebra, over lots and lots and lots of years and through generations of offspring and babies and them growing up to adults, the teeth have become flat and that's from grinding away at the grass. Another animal adaptation in the grasslands was the cheetah. It's able to go really fast and capture some of the other animals that are able to move fast as well. Well, I, I think that's pretty much it uh, for Life in the Grasslands test review. You guys are going to be awesome for the test. Once again, make sure you understand the red words in this video. Look over the textbook again, read it, and you guys are going to do awesome on the test again. Thank you for tuning into the YouTube video, and I look forward to seeing you guys in class.